This is on the garden tour. This is the teapot pergola. Have some some nice um, grapes finally growing. You have teapots hanging here. See, it says teapot pergola. Now this one is full of bees. This teapot. So the top is glued on. So we're in there. We have a hammock here. This is not supposed to be there. It's just sitting there for today. And the idea is to have the grapes grow up and cover the pergola and give a shade. Let's have another hammock on this side. And then all this back here is bee balm. It'll be red. It has completely pushed out those right there which are um, golden glow. Very tall with yellow flowers on them. It's pushed them out. Boy, it's amazing how nice these look when I've gone to the trouble of digging around them. So this is a nine bark at the end. It's made out of um, the ties that are on a t telephone poles. The old, uh, what are those called? Insulators? So I've got two of them standing up. So there's a nine bark and around it are daylilies. The grapes are beside the lilac. Have this swing. And the electricity for the teepee comes across here. And over here, on the outside of it, we have these. This was nothing. Nothing. This was just flat like that. It was just nothing. But now there are all the roses and the phlox. These are the, I think they're called evening primrose, but. Perhaps they're not. The crown vetch has gotten in here. This is this is an elm tree, and this one is a bee, a basswood, and beside it is a maple. And there's little bushes around here, which look like they have been kind of overrun. And they're not doing so well. Okay, so this is the teapot pergola.